T-O-L-E-E-P-W-K-A. And he asks, in a setup with multiple subwoofers and a processor equipped with direct live bass control, is it better to let Dirac handle the alignment and EQ of the subwoofers from the start, or should I manually align and roughly EQ them first before running Dirac? What approach would provide the most optimal bass performance? So we need to separate out what professionals do from what we're talking about here. And we also need to get a few things straight on how to handle this. Uh, but I do have a good answer for how we should be doing this. Okay, so let's start with should you be aligning and EQing manually first before letting Dirac do it? The answer is, under most circumstances, no. Now you should be applying some EQ like he did, the shell filters, to boost the bass, because Dirac really shouldn't be extending the bandwidth of the system. You don't want to be applying, and actually, I probably would apply it more like four or 500 hertz, um, and then let Dirac do its own thing after that. I wouldn't do any alignment manually and I wouldn't do any rough EQing manually because you're not going to be able to do what it's doing. To really understand this, if, if you're already familiar with multi-sub optimizer, direct live with bass control is more similar to that. And so there's alignment that needs to take place, but it's not necessarily doing a gross EQ across all the subs to just flatten the response. There is EQ being applied to the individual subs as well as across the subs to minimize the modal issues across the different seats. If you do the rough EQ, it's really wasteful. All you're really doing is providing it with information that it's gonna to need to get rid of anyway. So it's not necessarily gonna improve things and it may actually make things harder or worse because you may put Dirac in a position where it needs to apply more EQ than it actually can. Now, after it's all done, you're more than wel welcome to look at the measurements in your key seats specifically your RSP, your uh, reference seating position, and apply some EQ to, f to further correct it. Dirac often does a very good job, especially Dirac Live with bass control, but it doesn't always get things perfectly right, and there are some weird anomalies we sometimes see. And so I look at it as the reverse of what you said, where you said like you rough it in and then you let Dirac do it. It's more like I let Dirac rough it in and then I fine tune it. 